going to order. I, I forgot how to do this. Um, we're going to need a note taker. I second. <laughs> I'll take notes. Okay. Well, thank you, Tony, then. <laughs> thank you. Hey, Michelle, good to see you, literally. <laughs> good to see you. I'm okay. So, so I'm calling the meeting back to order. Meeting, maybe. What? Yeah. Tony second that we should convene the meeting. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. <laughs> Okay, no opposed. So, Tony, did you say you would take minutes? Who I didn't hear I did. who said it. I, talked I did. To it was me. Thank you. Okay, very good. Well, we we first we haven't seen each other since we got the application approved last year. Woohoo! So celebrate! Yay! Good. Wait, that good wasn't effort. on the agenda, but I think it should have been. <laughs> it should have been celebration. celebration. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um. So the first. Uh, oh, hey, do we have to take attendance? Um. Uh, Tony's here, I mean, Michelle is here, and I'm here. <laughs> well, right. So, I mean, I think on the agenda is talking about who are the members, right? Um, right. Mm -hmm. Membership. Okay. Yeah, but, yeah you might want to say idea. absent and then note for shall pending official notification of resignation or something like that. Okay. And Sounds Michael, good. we have not, you know, is absent and we should, you know. So, I he might... probably should resign too because, well, okay. So, well, Let's stick with the. Are we, is it, are we at this point on the agenda? <laughs> yes, we are on membership. Yes. Okay, awesome. I'm not looking at the agenda. So, um, yeah, so I think the question is the way that Shell talked about it, as he said, he stepped down after last year. If we were only appointed for one year, do you actually have to resign or was it just that it ran out? It wasn't an appointment for a year, it was, in, it was until whenever. There wasn't an annual appointment process. It was um, in part, I had to say perpetuity, but there was not a time limit on our. Okay. Um, All right. so one so thing I noticed in another committee, I've got to notice is that we all have to like redo the training, even if it was supposed to be good for two or oh. three years. You know, the committee, okay. the official training. Let, I'll verify that with Jennifer. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll just say there is, okay, I'm looking at our old notes. So I think you were supposed to assign me as clerk. So you propose and then I second or whatever, and then we vote. So do we wanna do that real quick? Okay, okay. <laughs> um, let's see. I propose that Tony uh, be the clerk for this meeting. All those I in second. favor? <laughs> second that and I. I. Okay, thank you. I don't know. I'm just reading the thing, you know. <laughs> Thanks for keeping us straight on the straight and narrow, Tony. We need you. We need you for more than just that, too. Okay, okay. So continuing on MOOC membership. Okay, so we we're going to Shell. Who's going to contact Shell and suggest? That I, we, I am. Tony's. Going, okay, and um, I, I'm not going to contact Michael. He's, he's never participated. I'm not going to worry about him. Um, okay. In terms of Dave, um, Michelle, you're aware that Dave from Stone Soup is interested, but we're not sure if he's done anything about applying yet. Okay, I, I didn't know about that. Yeah, so I, he said, yeah, exactly what you just said. So I followed up with him and I will let you know what we learned. Okay. Um, so that's I, on membership. So we've got, I'm making notes here that, um, Shell stepped, Shell stepped down. Tony Lynn is following up. Be sure he officially, he sends Oops. in an official, sends in a letter of resignation. Um, Michael, did he ever, he came to the first meeting or never? Okay. I um, no. And is it D-O-C-T-E-R? Yes, I believe I so. I had it wrong last time. Okay. Um, he's never attended, never participated. Um, so I guess the question is, do we need... Um, I, I have Jane. somebody else. That, I'm sorry to interrupt. I have somebody else in mind. She would be excellent. Hi, Jane. Welcome. We've convened the meeting and um, good to see you, Jane. We're on the second item, which is MOOC membership. Okay. 
I have contacted someone. I don't want to tell you her name her name yet. I'm meeting okay. with her Saturday. She wants to get more information, but she'd be excellent if she chooses to to do so, uh, to get involved. Right. So, um, so I think by then I'll have heard from Dave about whether he um, wants to join. Okay. Okay. Jane, you missed the celebration. We went, we gave ourselves a self-congratulatory celebration. We hadn't been together since last year when we got the uh, the um, approval. So we'll do that again. Great. Worth this Great. <laughs> okay. Wait, hold on. I think you. I have a, wait, hold on, wait for it. Wait for it. Isn't it here somewhere? Yes. There. Oh, <laughs> yay. <Yeah. laughs> Okay, great. So, um, okay, so anything else on membership right now? It sounds like we're working on some possibilities. Yeah, so I'm hearing, or I'm, I'm reading between the lines that we feel like we should have four members. At least four. We had five before, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay anything else on membership? Um, the, my question is, do we have a target number for this committee? Yeah, that's what I was people. just said. So oh, just, when you were appointed as a committee by the select board, was there a number of people appointed? And the number, did, go ahead. No, the number of people appointed were the number of people who applied. <laughs> that <laughs> often happens. One of the things I encourage is an odd number. Right. Because right. we don't have high yeah. votes. Yeah, good point. Good, yeah, good. So, so Tony is working on Dave and I have somebody else in mind who I will reveal should she choose to apply. I'm candidate not say A. <laughs> I'm yeah, sorry? Exactly, candidate A. Candidate A. Candidate A, yes, very good. Yeah. good. Okay, anything else on membership? Okay, let's move on to updates on 2023. Okay, so um, the Board of Health and Select Board support. So last fall, I approached the Board of Health, uh, got their recommendation to, to again opt out, and I went to the Select Board and got the Select Board approval to go ahead and apply to opt out for 2023. So we've We've got that checked off for 2023. Can you say that slower? Sure. Um, the, the Board of Health made a recommendation to apply to opt out in 2023, to opt out of spring by the SRCMB for 2023. The Select Board subsequently upon the Board of Health recommendation also voted to opt out in 2023 to apply to opt out in 2023. And we'll need to get um, a certified sort of piece of paper or something uh, from, from Carolyn, I guess, uh, from the town when we do apply again this year. Um, is that something that can be done, uh, Jane, through the, with the select board or is that just for town meetings that you get a certified vote? Uh, that's just, well, town meetings are what you get certified vote from the town clerk from. Okay, I'm going to need, is it in the minutes? I'm going to need a, um, I guess, a, a verification that the board select, select board approved to opt out. What date was that meeting, do you know? It was, I believe, it believe yes, it was one uh, January 27. 23. I can be in touch with you, Jane, separately with the okay. language on that. All right, we'll figure it. We'll figure. I'll work on that with you. We got time. Okay. Thank you for doing that, Bobby. Yeah. Okay. I just figured we better get it rolling before it went. No, it's didn't super. Want to yeah, end up thank you. With the annual meeting again. Okay. Um, PVMCD, Pioneer Valley Mosquito Control District membership. Okay. His, I'll try to make the long story short. I was contacted by Jennifer about a month ago. And she said, we've gotten a bill for $10,000 from Pioneer Valley. She said, do you know anything about this? I said, well, not really. <laughs> and so we did a little digging and it 
I actually sat in on the, the Pioneer Valley Mosquito Control District meeting, got a little more background on what's, what's up. So let me tell you the town side and then I'll tell you the PVCDM. Jennifer has been doing some digging and she's working on straightening it out. She didn't believe that we ever officially applied to be a member. And I said, well, they think we are. So I talked to their, I talked to the state and they actually sent me the minutes of their consideration and approval for Hadley joining on May 31st. Well, let's see, May, I have the date anyway. Um, verified that yes, indeed, Hadley was approved by the state to be a member. What year so was I that? Said, uh, 2018. And Jennifer has the copy. Jane, I can forward that to you. I didn't mean to leave you out of the loop, but I figured it. No, no, that's fine. Such flux that we didn't need to stir things up at the moment. See, I have the actual, he actually <laughs> sent me the minutes. He was very good. He sent me the minutes and verified it. It was on May 31st, 2018. And it says um, the board, this is the um, Pioneer Valley Mosquito Control District update from MDAR. The board considered approval of the towns of Deerfield and Hadley's membership. Action taken, Jim Straub made a motion to approve the membership towns of Hadley and Deerfield to the Pioneer Valley Mosquito Control District. It was approved unanimously. So we are indeed a member. <laughs> um, We've been so looking for this. I remember this I, is a conversation we've had and also about the money, like we didn't think we ever paid. Well, the, the money thing, this is where it gets a little complicated. Um, Jennifer has said, believes something strange going across the screen. Do you see okay, that? Okay, that's not just me. Okay, yes, that happened to me um, two hours ago in a Zoom meeting. So okay. I think so, something might be happening with Zoom today, but okay. maybe hit stop so anyway. video and then start it again. Oh, I don't know how to do that. Just, oh. just hit your hit your pick the camera and then. Okay, stop video and then start again. Yeah. There okay. Go. Okay. Okay. So anyway, so it turns out the Pioneer Valley Mosquito Control District is kind of in flux right now. Remember, um, Chris, the guy who was our our person. Turns out he was a contractor. Um, he's since left. Uh, and how do I say this? Um, record keeping was not his strong suit. Um, and he apparently sent a bill this year for two years. So that's why it was $10,000. Um, they never, got, Jennifer said they never got a bill last year, but yeah, meanwhile, it's $10,000 and Jane, you might be, I don't know how we're going to figure this out. Um, I think Jennifer's, Jennifer is trying to figure out how to pay for it because I don't think it's in anyone's budget. That's the problem, always. Yep. Yep. So uh, uh, anyway, well, Jennifer quick. asked me if. She, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just say Jennifer asked me if it's worth it, and I said absolutely yes. They do monitoring, and you know we really get good information from them. So um, anyway, so. Okay, that's so I want to ask some questions because I know this is a big deal because that's a lot of money for our time. Um, did we pay for 2019? I don't know. Because we were never know. able to find a bill, I feel like, but that doesn't mean it didn't exist. But I know we had this conversation a few times where we said, right. like, does anybody ever seen a bill for this? Because we were like, yeah. are we members? We think it's, we're members, but there's no bills. Is there a way to look at the town like bank account to see if it got paid? It would be through yes. going through a lot of... yes. No, we can do that fairly easily. My question is, before May 31st, 2018, when you have that letter that they approved our joining the PVMCD, mm -hmm. was there a select board meeting that said, we encourage you to do this? There was a town, a town, town meeting. town There was a town meeting. The and annual a meeting. All right. So that so the previous annual meeting of that year, right? And I can send you that information too. It was a previous annual meeting, and the doings say that. But there was a there was a amendment made uh, having to do with spraying, not just to, to do. I any remember spraying. that now. And then it was the, supposed to go to the select board to follow through. So it may have fallen apart at the select board. So and the good news is 
the town voted this to happen, even though they didn't specify money. Somewhere, because the town voted as a town meeting, they've got to pay for it, ultimately. So okay. I'll talk to Jennifer about this. Okay, because there was never any record of the town applying to the state, but somebody must have because the state had it on their agenda. Right. So that's the missing piece. Okay, okay so I, I have two things, actions to propose. One is that, yeah, that'd be great to look. It, it, it's a lot of records to go through, but it's $5,000. So you should be able to look for, when did we ever pay $5,000 since 2018? Because I don't know if there was a 2018 bill, 2019 bill, 2020 bill. We're missing all three of those. Um, and then separate, <laughs> which you'll see isn't really separate, but we're going to pretend it's separate. Uh, I think we could make the argument that they didn't send us a bill in 2021. And so we don't owe $10,000. We owe $5,000. Like you can't just say, hey, we didn't send you a bill and now you have to pay double. Like, I don't feel like that's okay. Well, it's not clear whether they sent a bill or not. I mean, I don't, I don't, I think we're splitting hairs here. I mean, I, I think, I don't know if they got a bill and it fell through the cracks. Chris, Chris was not the best record keeper. So they're trying to clean up, do some cleanup here. They, um, I hear so, you, Bobby, but I would just, I propose, and this is Jane Moore, your select board sort of va um, area, I think, but I would say we send them a bill, we send them a check for $5,000 and say, here's the payment for last year. It is $5,000 a year. We don't owe you 10,000. And they can then come back and say, actually, here's the bill you didn't pay that we sent you in 2021. But I suspect, given like you just said, Bobby, that it's a bit of a mess, they might say, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like, but maybe that's not how things work. I don't Have know. we ever paid anything? I don't, I don't know. Don't know. I don't know. What, it seems very unlikely since there's no budget line to write it against. Yes. Right. I, I suspect. Um, okay. I, well, I also want to ask one question just for going forward. Would such a bill go to the town administrator or to the select board administrator? They're one in the same. They're one in the same, Michelle. Okay. So it would be, the, it would all go through Jennifer then. Yes. Okay. Let me give you a little background, PVC, um, the Pioneer Valley. It's run by uh, commissioners that are appointed. One of the women is from Greenfield, one of them's from Northampton, and one of them's from Deerfield. Um, the person, they have a new person who's kind of their administrator that's doing a lot of, trying to do a lot of this record keeping and just trying to do a lot of catch up, quite honestly, because again, Chris wasn't the best record keeper. Um, the $5,000 is, is a minimum contribution. I think just keep in mind down the road, they're going to be looking for more money. <laughs> uh, I don't know how that I, it's, it's really messy. I don't know how we keep on top of that uh, and how we actually budget for that. Um, Cause they're really, they're really stretched really thin right now. They're hiring a new person. That person should be on board, but they're even they're to a point where they're trying to make them a, um, get find them office space and i mean there's just a lot going on they don't, they don't even have a vehicle they're they're on a shoestring bu budget and i'm not saying Hallie should pay for it but i think they're they're really struggling as a as a uh control district they're they're part of the state but they're not really funded very well by the state so it's it's just a mess right now i don't i don't know if we can if we can do our part of five thousand dollars a year I'm sure that would really help help a lot all the way around. So but. I'm hearing a couple of different things. One is we should be talking, we the select board should be talking to our state legislators and saying this needs to be funded. The towns don't have any money to do it. We need to be talking to the town and say, we already know we've cut budgets this year because the money is tight, but we have an obligation that the town voted for way back and we need to, to meet that obligation. But I also think we can ask them to look at their financial records for the past few years and see who else is contributing. Yeah. Jane, you brought yeah. up, up about Go ahead, um, seeing our legislators, which was my first thought because Joe Comerford was so helpful and supportive. And they, she and the other legislators have been really good about getting legislation written um lately they've just done a lot so 
And our new governor is um, being free with the purse strings, shall we say. There is money in the state and she wants it to go out to the towns where it's needed. So okay. it's all a very positive sign. We're not cash Great. in fiction. <laughs> and I, I think some conversations, and I can again get to either Jane, with the person who's the new administrator for them is is really on, on top of things and, and then a conversation with him, um, with our legislator would probably bring her up to speed in terms of where they're at with the state because I don't have all the details. I don't want to go in and say you need money when I don't know what they're already trying to get. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah there's, a so, problem. there's a problem when groups like this one decide that they know how to solve the problem when in fact it's the town's problem to solve. And it's great to make suggestions, but we should not initiate the actions, if you will. Okay. Okay. Just like what's going to go on with the uh, affordable housing in Econo Lodge. It's all yeah. kinds of conversations, but chill. Can I just make one more comment just on this yeah. um, so a piece of information? Most of the towns work through their boards of health for the mosquito control. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to give the board of health more responsibility, but is there any way that this could be a part of the budget for the board of health? Is it too late to try to get them on their it's budget? Too, well, the budgets have been set for the year. They haven't been voted, that's town meeting. Um, and I agree with you, it should be a board of health budget line because that's where it's coming from. Um, and I will pursue how that happens for you. Thank you, Jane. Okay. All right, so I, I just, my quick thoughts on this is, um, yeah, I appreciate the bringing it, kicking it up one level in terms of um, Hadley can't solve PBMCDs. Um, you know, if they have problems, we're not here to solve them. Um, and 5,000 means a lot to us, especially if we have to ask for it belatedly, um, the extra 5,000. But uh, I like the idea of like, what do we have power to influence? And so maybe, yeah, we have to come up with some amount of money out of nowhere this year, but in the future years, maybe it can be a line in the Board of Health for the 5,000. And so I think as we can try to keep it to 5,000 this year and then have it as a line in future years. Okay. Do we need to vote on that as a recommendation? If so, I. <laughs> I mean, I think Jane, we have a holder of the whatever those kind of rules are called. Or is it just an ongoing item that we're going to continue to monitor? I mean, there's no resolution at this point other than that we're going to continue to. Yeah, it seems like just conversations for now, but. Okay. Agreed. Okay. Anything else on, on uh, the PV MCD membership at this point? Okay. I, okay. So let's move on to plans for 2023. Okay. I think we kind of had a blueprint last year, and I think we can probably pick up on a lot of what we did last year if there's opportunities. Um, I've got some notes here. Great. Go ahead, Tony. Okay. So I think I would say, um, a couple things, uh, we, I want to talk in terms of outreach and I want to talk in terms of internal coordination. So, um, outreach, I have a list of activities we did last year that we tabled at. And um, so we can talk about, you know, what should those we want to do again, if we want to add anything, and then just start like being organized about who volunteers to show up to those. And then because we've done this already, we can say, all right, we know that we're going to, um, so the application came out um, last year on just before April 13th, and it was due May 27th. Um, and so 
we were saying, so then we had a select board meeting on April 27th or May 4th is what we, I don't know what we ended up doing, but that's what we were discussing at the April, whatever meeting I just said, April 13th meeting. So we can, cause I know we had like two months of like, maybe we can get on, maybe we can meet, maybe we can meet, you know, and I don't think we have to do that this time, hopefully. And maybe we don't even need to meet with board of health because if we're planning on doing basically the same thing and they said it was okay last time, but maybe that's, we want to talk about that. So we could just say, okay, we're going to, at the end of April, we're going to go in front of the board of health. And then the next select board meeting, we go in front of them and then we turn it in, whatever it is, you know? So it'd be nice instead of, I think we spent a lot of time trying to figure out is it out yet? Is it out yet? Is it out yet? You know? So, um, okay. So those are the, I guess the, the things I, I would see is that we, we get the application when it comes out, we, we fill it out a draft and we go to board of health and they say, okay. And then we go to select board and they say, okay. Mm -hmm. And then we turn it in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a, it's a plan. I, I will let you know that I'm going to be out of town as of May 20th this year. For a good bit so if it doesn't happen before may 20th um i can certainly get it somebody prepared to get it in but somebody else is going to have to send it send it in may, may have to do some follow-up so may may select board meetings will be the third and the 17th the third they're okay. probably not going to want to talk about anything except town meeting which is the following night right that's so, a good question of course I suspect so we should plan for the May select 17th. the May 17th. Yeah. Okay, good. And last year, I know we were a little bit afraid of what might happen. And I think having done it already and everything, I think we don't have to worry about it. So May 17th is close to May 27th, but it will be fine. Okay. 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 Um, so I can go through then the spring outreach activities, but I wanted to just pause for the internal coordination piece and make sure I'm not missing anything. That's good. Um, did you know Climate Day is not happening this year through the Hazard Climate Committee? Okay. It's not. Okay. Because I contacted them about that. Bummer. Did it not work out last year? They're just no, busy? No, because they've been very busy and it was a huge energy output and they're just not going to do it this year. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, maybe next year. Okay. Yep. Um. So, all right, so I'm going to go through my list of outreach activities then. Oh, I guess my other question is, Bobby, since you seem to remember those things at least better than I do, do we have to do any kind of um, monitoring, any follow-up, any, are we on There the wasn't any report. I, I asked them, there was no re annual report needed. Yes, so. awesome, awesome. That's good news. Um, all right, uh, let's see. I'll make a note about you being gone too. Um, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna cross out Climate Day. That was the most recent one. Um, I don't know if Jane, you're still there, but on May 7th, there was this Senior Center Activities Day thing. I don't remember what the name was, but is that happening this year? Oh, I just had a spill. Um, I'm gonna go off video for a second, but I'm listening. Jane, are you still with us? Yeah, I don't know yeah. why my picture keeps going away. Okay. I'm here, can okay. you see me? Yes. Okay. Did you, did you hear Tony's question? Which was? Okay, we're talking about our reach activity. Well, what's happening at the senior center? That we might be able to tag on to um, for educate outreach. Um, well, Jane, if the um, Hadley Cultural Council International Fair happens, it's not exactly the same topic, but it might be a good outreach. And that's um, supposed there's to a potential shredding event in May, which is people looking at things. I don't know that it's tied tightly to this, but. That's we, would, we could hand them paper and then they could shred it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so because I just had that there was this May 7th thing that happened last year and I didn't remember what it was called. Jane. I don't remember. That All was right. the open house. It 
was the open house for the library and and oh seniors? okay we're not doing that this year although the library asked us to but that is the day that potentially we are having a shredding event here but it's not confirmed yet okay great um, i don't go yeah. ahead michelle oh no no i there's another event i was going to give you a date for but yeah um, i'm gonna i don't know about the shredding event that doesn't feel like no but know, the library is having their open house that day what is the, the day the, the May 13th. Okay, so I'll put that on the left. Library open house. Um, Which, I have, hold on just a second, Michelle. Um, I have Memorial Day Parade, but I don't think we did that, right? We didn't, no. Okay, I have the Asparagus Festival, so that one's good. I don't know, it was June 4th last year. It looks like um, the Saturday yes. is the 3rd. It's June 3rd this, this year. Okay. I've confirmed this. that. Super. Um, table at I town meeting. We can do that again. Um, Poster at Vesta. I don't know. Did we do that? Yes, Bevy did that. We did put posters up. Yeah. Um, so I'll keep that on here for now. We don't have to commit to any of these things, but um, okay. I have another point, but Michelle, you go first about another. No, event. I was going to say I confirmed the Asparagus Festival and a possible place to table it if Lake Warner does another paddling fundraiser when people are going out on the water, mm -hmm. you know, in mosquito season. That yeah, might yeah. be a good place to at least have some materials for people to pick up. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Then we did the tire collection thing. I would think sort of, I would think we won't need to do that again this year. Maybe oh, we really? could do it every other year or something. You think? Oh, okay. Cause they said they'd be, oh. they, they were excited. They said they would do it again, but if we don't. Oh, let's do it then. Let's do it. Okay. Cause a lot of people, you know, I think wanted to, but didn't get in, you know, yeah, it was missed. so limited. Yes. Oh, great. Okay, super. Then let's do it. I'm sorry. Um, so, and then I just have a note about the website, Bobby, that you have, you were putting things up on the website and did you ever do that? I put some stuff up, but I'm not very good at it. I, I meant to put the application approval up there and I never got that up there. So if there's somebody else that wants to take over the website, go for it. Cause I'm just, I really struggle. <laughs> Jennifer sat down with me twice and I, just posting things is really difficult for me. Um, but it's our minutes, I think, are posted. Uh, but there's a lot of missing stuff, probably. OK, so we need um, update the website. Um, Another possible tabling opportunity before I forget is if they're yeah. um, if they do a beer um, garden or anything. Though I think they dominated their stuff, but a beer or cider outdoor garden, just having materials there would probably be useful. Mm -hmm. Which was cars and Valley Malt did those in the past. Right. Okay. Um, do we feel like we want a poster at Vesta again? Uh, do we have any reason to think they've been taken down? I don't know. I don't know if anything ever went up in the schools. They said they were going to do that, but I don't know if. Right. if yeah. I, I should get in touch. Last year, I didn't get all the posters up. I said I would, so I can make a round of that again. You know, contact trustees. I can definitely put one up at. Mount Warner, which I have done, but I think it's faded or someone, you know, took sure. it down. Um, I wonder I mean, if it's Warner. possible we have the new um, sign boards on the Kestrel uh, trail that runs between Chimura Road and um, the Hadley Reservoir down there by Atkins, that we might put mosquito notices behind the glass. Hmm. Oh, I, I don't know, know where that is. Um, so if you're going down Bay Road and mm -hmm. Hampshire College is on your left, just before you get to Applewood, mm -hmm. there's a forest. That's Hadley Reservoir in there. And that's and the end of the trail. There's a trailhead there, and it goes back along the mountain to Lawrence Plain Road, Chamur Road. And we worked on that on the Concom. Yep. And there's a sign, there's a signboard there? There is now a one of those really nice um boards there. Who do I we believe I said it's under glass and we'd have to contact somebody, but I think we can figure that out. Okay. Okay. These are all great ideas. Great. 
second. Okay. And I don't know about other trails, if they have any kinds of uh, signage on them that we might be able to, because these are outdoor people. They're walking in the woods. It's where yeah. mosquitoes well, are. That you know, the trustees for the Salamander Trail, I don't know if they're going to put a new sign board up at that second trail near um, Porter Phelps because they're they're improving it, that mm. trail um, and making it. And now they're doing a trail down to the water, I think, behind Porter Phelps or in that area. Well, maybe Porter Phelps has a place we can put one up. They certainly have mosquitoes. Right, yeah. and they have the um, Phoenix. They have their... their their teas and they have their concerts. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any sports kiosks or anything? I, I don't go to games, but I should, probably should. You know, at the high school or the playing fields, or are there any? Yeah. I mean, I go to a lot of games, but I haven't been paying attention, but I'll be out there for baseball soon. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking. And the new playground equipment is finally being put in on Huntington there uh, road, but I don't know if there's going to be any signage or places to put right. stuff. Okay. All right. All right. Well, th this is a great, great start. Do you want to keep adding to it or do you want to assign some people to do some of this stuff? <laughs> All right. A volunteer to do some of this stuff. Should we keep brainstorming areas? I feel good about this. I mean, so I can I contact heard, Porter Phelps trustees about the Salamander Trail, and I can definitely easily put one up at the Mount Warner Boat Ramp, Lake Warner Boat Ramp. I mean, um, that's very easy to do. Okay. If you're contacting the trustees, can you check about the, unless you've already, when you mean the Mount Warner Road, the uh, Mount, Warner, Mount Warner hiking yeah, trail? The, yeah. Yeah. The, the, yeah. the salamander trail. Oh, is that the salamander? Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. And then the county is a state trail. That's another place we could put um, things up. So you have you... materials still, Michelle? I have a few. I, I haven't counted. Not, not I a have a whole bunch of stuff. stuff. I'm sure it has not changed, so we can keep using it. And the I recycling believe... committee will be pleased that we are. <laughs> okay, I have lots of stuff. So if you need anything, just let me know what you need and we can- Ask the you. Board of Health if you can post one on the inside of the book shed they have at the transfer station. Excellent. I'll, I'll pursue that. Excellent. Okay. 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 Um, anything else? Or should we go through the list? I wrote down everything. We can see who's going to agree to do what. <laughs> okay. So if I'm only good for ideas, I'm not going to be doing a lot of. That's fine, nice. Jane. Your idea hey, that's excellent. No. We need your ideas. Okay, so um, May 13th, library open house. I, I can pursue that. What are the hours? Um, it's usually in the morning. Okay. And they, they were, it was either the 6th or the 13th, but they were leaning towards the 13th. I have not heard definitely. Okay. Well, I, I could do either. Um, I'm not gonna be around on June 3rd for the asparagus festival. I have a tent if somebody wants to borrow it, um, but I won't be around for it. Yeah, it I'll looks like there. I will. And I assume Michelle, you'll be there too. I'll be there, but I'm on three things that are tabling at Asparagus Festival. So I'll okay, try to I get us take it. situated close to each other so we can do some covering. Hadley okay, Cultural yeah. Council will be there, Lake Warner and MOOC. All right, so I'll claim that one and then Michelle can help us if possible. Um, Town meeting, what day did you say that was? Six, fourth, Thursday the 4th, 7 p.m. Uh, I can do that. We have to get permission from. Yes, from the new, um, not from the select board, you have to get it from the moderator whose name is, why am I blocking on this? Um, oh, yeah. 
Kurt, I don't want Kurt Wiley. Kirk Watley, yeah. Watley, thank you. Yes. Okay, I don't know how to get, is he available email or something or? Uh, it should oh, be yeah, on the town. Be on the ta he should be on the town. Just get on the town email and look. Well, let me do it for you. Okay, thank you. And last year, I know the Board of Health had a table. Maybe we could just double up with them if they're, I don't know if they're going to again. They were passing out masks. They're probably not doing that this year. Um, but if the Board of Health has a table, again, I think we could probably double up with them. But I can, I can be there on the 4th. Yeah, and I will be going to town meeting and I hope I can get there early and table. Right. I'm gonna okay. try to unless I'm working. Um, okay, um, Vesta posters, I think we think they're up, but... Um, I will ask somebody here at the senior center if they've seen them. Okay. Thank you. And Jane, you could probably see if the posters are still up at the senior center. Um, could probably do that. You Jane, think I might have noticed. <laughs> Jane, is there an area at Golden Court where people poster, or at the other little um, housing complex near Stop and Shop? I forget Mountain the name. Mountain View is the other one. Um, Golden Court has a community room. Okay. Very few of the tenants like to go in there, but that's a whole okay. political. <laughs> yeah, okay. I remember the letters <laughs> in the paper. Yeah. Okay, Lake Warner events. Michelle, you can keep us informed on that. Right. If, yeah. if you would, please. Yeah. Okay. And then I can be, the ones I'm at, I can definitely be a person handing out materials. And we do water chestnut pulls with volunteers, and I can bring materials to that too. Okay. You know, when, when I'm able to go, I sometimes will have to travel because of family illness, and I don't know when this year. Okay. All right. Tire collection, I'll follow up with Firestone. I, I don't think there's any magic as to when we do it um, or when they're available to do it. May seemed to be a good month last year, but I'll see if what's available for them. But remind me we like let people know and they bring them to Firestone or they bring them to an event? Firestone. The Firestone. Okay, so but we, we have, have to do very little. We just publicize it. Well, yeah, so maybe that we to, Don't we have to limit how many show up? Right, it was Isn't 100 there... last year, 100 tires or 100 people. They, they what, happens if, what happens if 120 people show up? Um, I think it was very clear that if you weren't early on, you might not get to do it. Um, because they did say they had a limit. I can, I, I, let me follow up with them on that. Cause I don't think they're overwhelmed. I think they were really pleased to have people come in and, and see them. And I think it was a good publicity thing for them too, to have people come to Firestone. So publicity is always, it's going to be the challenge perhaps, because we had a number of events previous to that where right. we could advertise it. So so that's what I was going to suggest is either we advertise a town meeting and have it right after that, or we advertise at Asparagus Festival and have it right after that. Because yeah. those are two big yeah. events where lots some, of people see it. Sometime in June might be good. That would be after Asparagus Festival. Yeah. But okay. Asparagus Festival will bring non-Hadley people. And I thought our focus was trying to be Hadley. So That's in that point. argument, we should do it at wow. town meeting and not asparagus. Okay. So we should do it between town meeting and asparagus. <laughs> it looks like gonna try to figure out the month of May sometime when they would do it. If they can do it. And if they can't do it till June, that's still when we advertise it to the Hadley people. We just don't okay. have to. Yeah, the little flyers at the senior center, I think last year were probably helpful because people would pick those up and it would be a solution to their problem of accumulating tires on their property. And I think that's probably true with seniors who are too cheap to throw them away or pay to throw them away, right. but won't just dump them on the side of the road. Well, it's another and, point. And once we get that date, I can actually get that in the senior newsletter. Okay, I'm, I'll work on event. it. Call on tomorrow, okay. Um, what's um, the deadline for the senior newsletter for May, June? Um, Jane. The 15th of April. Okay. But earlier is better. I mean, 15 is like 
if it's long, it's not going to make it. If it's a short thing, we might fit it in. But the layout's already going on now. What the? Okay. What do you need? Uh, oh, what do you need? Just a PDF? What, what, do you want me to make it look like a, an announcement, like a, a poster type of thing, or just a just a it written can be words? We can put a tire picture on it if there's room. You know, something that would draw their attention to it. Okay, I'll but send it. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Um, tire collection. Okay. Website up update. <laughs> uh, does anyone we need want somebody who does? Does candidate A have a teenage son <laughs> or daughter <laughs> or daughter who is computer literate? That's what. So, we, Bobby, what you scared it. me off because. I wasn't actually going to do this this year. Bobby talked me into keeping to do it. And then, you know, so, but you scared me off when you said I had to meet with somebody. Like, I know how to do things on websites, but I can't, I don't have time in my life. My blood pressure is rising, just finishing the sentence to like go meet with somebody for them to show me how to work on the website. So if it's something where I can just do it from home, great. Where I can send them something and they can put it up, great. But I don't want to volunteer to take over the website if it's a thing. It's, it's, unfortunately, it's more of a commitment than doing it. It, the town website is just, it's, it's a really, mess. It's a mess. I didn't it's say that it's a mess. It's hard to navigate. It needs to be updated and there's neither time nor money, but we're going to. It's, it's but I mean, it's really hard. can you do it from home or do you have to go in? I will check for you. You can okay. do it from home, but you need the instruction of how to like an hour, half an hour with Jennifer to show you how to how to maneuver around and what what tabs you have to go back and forth. Uh, it's a lot of back and forth, back and forth. It's not at all intuitive. It's really clunky. It's clunky. But um, at this point, let's let's think. I mean, about when it. we were on the concom, we didn't do the website. Like we just shared the minutes. So we have to I do just... all the posting. We have to do it all. No one. Well, the problem is we. The problem is the town has gotten so many committees now that Jennifer, who already was overburdened, Got does it. not have time to deal with sense. them. And so she's trying yeah. to teach different committees how to do their own. But again, we all know the website needs to be revamped totally. And as I say, that takes time and money and something the town doesn't have spare at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, I assume Michelle's not going to volunteer and Jane's not going to volunteer and Bobby already well, said so wait, wait, she's wait, been wait, doing it and doesn't want to. So I don't want to volunteer, but I'm not saying no. I'm just going to kick it. Well, down the what, if we, what if we talk to the school and see if somebody needs a project, a community service project to be our liaison to the web page? It just feels like more effort than me sitting with Jennifer for 30 minutes would take. Like, Well, let no me check student, it out with Jennifer. No kid wants to do... Like that's not a project. Like putting a PDF on a website is not an exciting project. On an well, old website is not an exciting project. What, what if, but do people get community service credits or scouting credits for doing any of this? Um, I don't know. I don't it just know. sounds like it'll take me twenty minutes, well, so they could get well, community service hours. Let me, let me check hours, it out for you, Tony. But, then, yeah, I will check okay. that. One of the things I've been thinking of is that it's not just our Facebook page or website because I don't know how many people go to that, but there are all sorts of and this is with other organizations, organizations that belong to or committees. There are all these like Facebook pages and links you want to get, but then it gets very complicated. Just even getting the contact list that's current takes work. Yeah. Um, It'd be great, but I think if I if we can get our town right. website that town uh, yeah working, would be it'd be good. I mean, I've been able to post minutes and stuff, but. Beyond that, it's it's really it's I, I let me I will agree for the next two months to try to get up to speed on at least keeping it updated. Um, but I can't continue to do it. I mean, I would do it. It's just I, I don't know how to do it. It's it's I don't do it well. I don't I would have the time, but I don't do it well. So let me just sit down with Jennifer again sometime when she can breathe and I can breathe and see if I can figure it out. But I, it's yeah, just and again, Bobby, I'm not saying no. So maybe just email, put me on an email about this. Say okay. Tony Lynn is maybe going to volunteer to take this over. You know, can 
we find time to make a meeting and I'll see what I can get around to, you know. Okay. Um, which actually brings me, so we're getting on to 2.30 and I will have to go soon, but it's, um, I was wondering, that'll like, we have on the schedule, you know, future meeting dates or whatever, but I'm sort of curious. I think we can meet a lot less this year, right? Like, yeah. Right. I, I, I propose, okay. okay, so the, I think we have plans for now. Future meeting dates. Uh, I think the scheduling monkey works good. I think we've got two potential candidates to join us. Perhaps in the next couple of weeks, we can figure out if they're going to be joining us and then schedule another meeting if they get on board. Is there? So any? what I have for what we need to do in terms of meetings is okay. Board of Health in early May, Select yeah. Board May 17th. Those are not in order. This isn't in order, obviously, but those are the two things we have to for sure keep in mind. Um, and that we think we're going to get the, um, application around April 10th. And, um, I mean, that's when it came out last year, right? So I would suggest given that we might get the application around April 10th, that we set a meeting the week of like, um, uh, you know, April 17th or something where we can have a meeting where we work on the application and it maybe only takes us an hour and a half and we're done, you know, um, and we look at what is the old application versus the new application, but that we don't meet before the next application comes out because we'll, we'll fill an hour. We can do it, but yeah. yeah. So, so what about a month from today, April 20th? Um, I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. Daytime or evening? Same time? Right, same well, time, same time, same place. Yeah, it's smart. Okay. Super. Thanks, Jane. Okay. Oops, I can't do that. Um, no, I can do that. Same time, okay, same time. let's plan on that. And anything in the meantime, um, we'll just work on some of the things we plan. Okay. If people, people want posters and stuff, just contact me and I can get them to you. Okay. And I will just I will just inform you if we get the Firestone date, just so that you have it FYI. That would be great. Thank you. Jane, I'll get stuff to you on the so, uh, Bobby. Are all you right. So I'm going to talk to the town about needing five thousand dollars in the Board of Health budget and the details about town meeting approved it and we should be able to pay it. And it was approved by the state. And um, I will get a certification of the vote of the January 27th, 23 meeting, select board vote. And I'm gonna check with Jennifer about uh, Tony Lynn and the website and if they can do that quickly and remotely possibly. Okay. Um, and I have most of those things written in our to-do list here. So I'll share back Okay. to make sure in case anyone missed anything. Okay. Jane, I'll send you the, the MDAR uh, verification of vote that we joined, just so you have a background. That would be great. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Jane, what is Kurt's name you were looking or email address? Jennifer, Jennifer James, Jennifer Sanders. No, Kurt, Kurt, uh, Kurt Waitley. W, I didn't see him on the town email. I checked that. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have his, so we'll have to find have his phone number. I, in my I phone. might have Hang his on. email from a long time ago. I'm going to check my emails um, just really quickly, see if he's in there. Okay. He also, I think, has a website for his business. If I don't have work. him in my phone. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I do have him. Okay. Uh, his phone number is 413 mm -hmm. right. Who's Who's calling? Because I don't want to put this in the notes. So who is, who is Bobby? Who's, kind of, okay. who's asking for permission to show it? I think that's Bobby. Bobby's job. Bobby's Bobby. listening. Okay, Bobby, his phone number is 413-530-1085. Okay, this is on record now. This is being recorded. So, <laughs> okay. Oh, that's right. The town moderator. Sorry, Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Uh, okay, now we're at other business, I think. Yeah, anything else? I can't think of anything. Me neither. Okay, so uh, Tony, if you talk to Dave, he, he does, and he's interested, he needs to write a letter to the, I, it, of great. intent I to told the him. Yeah, okay. Yes. Okay, anything else for the good of the cause? We got no. another next meeting I'm date. motion to close the meeting. Um, our next meeting date is April 20th at 1.30, yeah. I motion to okay. close All the meeting. All those in favor? I, I Wait, that. we have a second. We need a second. I said second. I second that. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.